you're not special and other encouragements. How can you're not special be an encouragement? Well, here's a bit of his commencement speech at Wellesley High School where he teaches in 2012 and more than 2 million people have seen it on YouTube. You're not special. You're not exceptional. Yes, you've been pampered, cosseted, doted upon, helmeted, bubble wrapped. Yes, capable adults with other things to do have held you, kissed you, fed you, wiped your mouth, wiped your bottom, trained you, taught you, tutored you, coached you, listened to you, counseled you, encouraged you, consoled you, and encouraged you again. You've been nudged, cajoled, wheedled, and implored. You've been feted and fawned over and called sweetie pie. Yes, you have. And certainly we've been to your games, your plays, your recitals, your science fairs. Absolutely smiles ignite when you walk into a room and hundreds gasp with delight at your every tweet. And indisputably here we all have gathered for you the pride and joy of this fine community, the first to emerge from that magnificent new building. But do not get the idea you're anything special. Because you're not. Wow. Hmm. Let's have a little come to Jesus meeting with David McCullough Jr. right now. That's what he did. Welcome to the program. Good morning. How come they're not special? Well, first of all, it's a statistical inevitability that most of us are average. Um, and also, it's important to point out that that was just sort of an affectionate teasing at the beginning yeah. of his speech, and I got to the more important stuff later. And the kids to whom I was speaking know me quite well and know me uh, as affectionate and uh, a little droll, I guess. And so <laughs> one needs to understand the context of what I was saying. Do you, do you though, really think that uh, a lot of the young people who come out of high school now do have a sense of entitlement? Oh, absolutely. It's terrible. It's an epidemic. Um, Well-meaning parents have raised a lot of really entitled kids who so often are in for a rude awakening. The other important thing to remember about the speech was it was a commencement, a beginning. Um, whatever they'd accomplished to that point, whatever distinction they'd achieved, didn't really matter because they were all starting afresh. The book is You Are Not Special and Other Encouragements, which obviously would make a pretty good graduation gift this time of year as commencement speech season comes along. We, we enjoy uh, playing pieces of them from time to time on the air of celebrities and interesting people, inspirational people who do that. And uh, so this group that you spoke to in 2012, have you kept in touch with any of them? And do, how, did this, uh, how did this concept uh, impact them, if you know? Uh, I've kept in touch with many of them. Um, I felt a little badly that I became the story and kind of stole from them the celebration of their graduation. Um, but they've all been uh, very supportive and think that it's fun what's happened. Um, <laughs> and they, many of them, have, have thanked me for what I said. So uh, let's say there's a dot, 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 you're not special. And then the rest of the speech, where do you take us? And I presume that's where the book takes us. Yeah, I encourage kids to do what they do for the pleasure it brings them, not for the accolades or the opportunities it hopes they, it brings them. I remind them that their privileges come with responsibility, um, that education is not only for their benefit, of course, but their education is for the benefit of everyone who stands to gain from their good work once they emerge.